Creator, Lord, thank you for this wonderful day. Great things are to be accomplished. I thank you for all the people that are here who are experts in their field. And may this project progress carefully. Amen. About 30 days ago, I had the distinct honor and privilege of meeting Sister Margaret. At 95 years old and only taking one day off a week, her work and inspiration spans the globe. I hope that after you see this short film, you'll agree. A local filmmaker is honoring the life of what is a woman who's called Eugene's very own Mother Teresa. The project follows Sister Margaret Graziano around the Lane County Jail where she volunteers. Sister Margaret has been bringing art to the prison system for the past 36 years. For more than three decades, Sister Margaret has brought art and art supplies to a group that rarely sees the outside world. Only the artists can explain their drawings. For some of the most violent inmates, all that's allowed are paper and a two-inch stub of a pencil. They are encapsulated, they are there, and they have nothing to look at but themselves. And I gotta get out of here. I'm so alone. It keeps their mind off of their troubles. They've often expressed in writing what they believe art has done for them. And for most of them, it's just changed their lives. In 2003, she received the ACA. And in 2012, she received the ACC Award. Sister Margaret is the only individual that has ever won both awards. Each time I'm amazed more and more about the stories that are combined with what I'm reading or seeing. And in one case in particular, a uh, prisoner in, uh, on death row in Salem a uh, young man by the name of Jeffrey Tyner. Jeffrey D. Tyner. Dear Sister Margaret, peace be with you. I hope this note finds you in good health and high spirits, busy in the vineyard of the Lord. I'm busy writing mission support letters today. This always makes me happy in my heart, and I'm grateful to have Christian activities. A lot of these guys in here veg out on the TV, waste away with no focus nor purpose. I look for ways to encourage them to seek out the face of God. I hope, if nothing else, to plant the seeds in their hearts. I love you in Christ, dear sister, and I'm very grateful for all the love and peace you bring into the world. I am thoroughly convinced that programs can change people. I know this to be true because I have received many notes from the inmates that say, art has changed my life. To get your thoughts off your troubles is really something special. <laughs> And you know, it could be just a miserable time in the jail, unless they have something that excites them. And those that are excited really make progress. And it thrills me to see what they can do. Many have never done art before. You know, it makes me realize how important these uh, classes are and the art uh, movement. They have a new outlook instead of just concentrating on the wrong that they did, they can look at something else that raises their positive feelings and relationships. Every life matters. Now that you've been introduced to Sister Margaret, we hope you'll agree that no life should be left behind. I challenge you to help us tell her story. Thank you for watching.